Okay, today I'm just going to quickly run you through how to link PDF files in pages in Shopify. So it could be anything you want to add if you've got any special documents for terms or sizing guides, that type of thing. So we're just going to jump into the pages section. Just in uh, This is just a dummy store, so we've got no content in there. So if we just add a page and we'll just call it size guide and we're just going to do a link to the PDF and then the problem is in here you don't really have any option to add a PDF so what we'll do is we'll save that and then the way we can do it is by jumping into settings I'll open that in the new tab so we've got our old window and then in the settings, if we jump into files here, what we can actually do is upload our PDF file here. So we click on this button, and then on the desktop, I've just called mine size guide PDF. And then that will just upload our PDF to here. And then what we can do, we've got our file uploaded now. So if we just click into here, and just do a copy on that URL. So that's our link to our PDF, so we need that. And then if we go back to our page in here, what we can actually do now that we've got our link is to highlight a piece of text. So I'll say, we'll just say the PDF is the link to the PDF. And then we click on this anchor here, which is the link button. And then once you've clicked on that, now you've got your URL to put into here for the link to the PDF. Um, another thing to bear in mind is with this section here, the um, opens link in same window or a new window. If you set this to a new window, then when they open the sizing guide and when they're finished with it and close it, they won't close the whole website down. They'll just close the size guide down and come back to the website. So if we do that, and then we hit insert link and then we go to save and then if we view the page now we should be able to click on here and then it opens my sizing guide up in a new tab and then when you've looked at it and you're finished we close the tab and then we're back to the page and that's really what you want rather than the uh, them, them closing the site down because once it's closed they may not actually come back um, and that's it i hope that helps if this video did help then um, give it a give it a thumbs up